It goes without saying, we visit a lot of restaurants on this show. A lot of you folks tell us you like them. We try to show you what the food's like, what the atmosphere is like, but often it's the story behind the business that's the most fascinating. Recently, Teresa Bush found an interesting restaurant and story on a visit to Morristown. Hi there. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you all doing tonight? I'm good, there's two of us. Two? Would you prefer a booth or a table? A booth's good. All right, come on in. The friendly people and the fantastic food at the Little Dutch restaurant have been making folks smile since 1939. Now don't let the name fool you, there are no Dutch dishes on the menu. And the founders, Frank and Maddie Lorino, were Italian. The story is that Frank settled on the name after getting a great deal on a sign with the words Little Dutch on it. It was a very good history, very good reputation. Mr. Frank and Miss Mary have done a great job in this place, in this town. This was the place that used to open 24 hours a day, and all the youth was coming here after school. Mr. Frank probably was more uh, babysitting these kids than, than selling food to them, you know. In 1973, three years after Frank's death, Maddie sold the Little Dutch to George and Tommy Angelopoulos two ambitious and energetic immigrants. They'd moved to Tennessee four years earlier to work in the restaurant industry. In Greece, America it was uh, viewed as the, the country of the opportunity, and I think it still is, and it, a lot of people in the world still viewed as such. The uh, impression was that uh, you want to have a steady job, you want to get rich, you go to America. On a regular visit to Greece in 1976, George became reacquainted with his sister's best friend, Nina. The two married and George brought his bride to Morristown and they've been here ever since. Then in 1980, they bought Tommy's share of the Little Dutch. I was excited mm -hmm. to leave and see something different besides Greece. So, and he made, the transformation was easier because of him. You know, the, from living from Athens and coming to Tennessee. He okay. made it easier. My family was a little bit hesitant at first, you know, because I was gonna leave, but they knew that George was a great man, great person. So it was okay. It was okay for me to leave. George and Nina quickly became the new Frank and Maddie. The couple continued the Lorino's tradition of creating affordable homestyle meals including staples like steaks, chicken, and pasta dishes, and of course, burgers and fries. And they continued the tradition of creating memories. Over the years, customers have written about their Little Dutch experience. George and Nina have been able to keep a lot of those cards and letters in a notebook. Each one is very sweet, but perhaps the sweetest one of all is an apology letter from a seven-year-old girl who went up to the salad bar and stuck her finger in the salad dressing. George and Nina really love their customers and their comments. In fact, they added Greek items to the menu after getting requests to do so, like moussaka, an eggplant, potato, and beef casserole, and some very tasty Greek desserts. Nina makes all of those. And it didn't take long for the couple's hard work to pay off. We started out with $150 sales a day. Within six months, it was over $2,000. It was back then when we used to serve an entree for three and a quarter, 350, 375. We used to be having lineups all the way to the corner Friday and Saturday. And it was a small place, but we, uh, we saw what's happening. George and Nina's dream of a better life in America was what was happening. Soon, they remodeled and expanded, and what began as a tiny cafe for a few customers has grown to a place that can seat 200. And along the way, the couple had five daughters. All our daughters work here since they were 12. They've done pretty much everything, a clean tables at first, uh, served, being a hostess at front, even back in the kitchen, wash dishes sometimes when the dishwasher doesn't show up. Yeah. And they've done pretty much everything, and they, they learn the, the value of uh, the, the work ethic mm -hmm. and the value of money. 
The girls also learned how to make customers happy. Their fourth daughter, Angelique, says the key is consistency. Customers want the dishes to taste the same time and time again. Everything is from scratch, and I think that comes very much from where my parents were raised. I'm surprised we don't, you know, pluck the chicken. It's, it's very from scratch, it's very fresh, it's all about the ingredients. And a lot of thought and preparation goes into the food, and, and I think you can kind of taste it. By now, you're probably wondering why Angelique is in this story without her sisters. Well, there's a good reason. Angelique will be the new face of the Little Dutch restaurant when her parents retire, and they couldn't be more proud. Because at one point, George and Nina feared they'd have to sell the restaurant to strangers. She has uh, the personality, mm -hmm. she got the knowledge, mm -hmm. and uh, she'll be great. And this is just as much a kid to them as we are. So to see it stay in the family is a blessing and excitement in and of itself. He's so excited about it, that's all he's been able to talk about. You know, oh, we need to do this, and I'm so excited. They love this place. They are so ready to kind of take a break. It's hard to think of coming in here and not sitting down in the booth and having coffee and walking through and it not be ours. The legacy can live on. Yeah, I think it'd be sad if it didn't. It wouldn't be Morristown.